Justin, Republican Clay Tippins recorded the conversation with Cagle two days after the primary election uh, last month, a primary which Cagle finished first and Tippins finished fourth. Among other things, they discussed whether Tippins would endorse Cagle in the runoff election coming up in July. They also discussed a private school tax credit bill, which Cagle pushed very hard in this year's General Assembly, even though he himself admits it is bad. What I'm doing is providing a window into Casey Cagle's character. Clay Tippins contends the window clearly reveals that Casey Cagle pushed through a law he knew was bad. Here's part of the conversation Tippins recorded. Now, is it bad public policy between me and you? It is, and I can tell you how it is a thousand different ways. Clay Tippins is the second member of his family to oppose the bill in question. His uncle, Lindsey Tippins, was chair of the state Senate Education Committee when Cagle pressured him to support it in March. It passed easily, but Senator Tippins voted against it and resigned his chairmanship in protest. Two months later, Cagle offered his version of the confrontation to Clay Tippins. Exactly the reason I told Lindsey he didn't listen to him. It ain't part of public policy, Lindsey. Guess about it. I'm taking a stand against a guy who, in his own words, pushed bad public policy, his view is this bad public policy, over sheer politics. And I hope other folks stand with me on that. Cagle feared that the Walton Family Foundation would make that $3 million available to Hunter Hill's gubernatorial campaign if Cagle didn't push through legislation that would allow people to direct more of their tax money to so-called SSOs, student scholarship organizations. He ran out of money in his own campaign. You know, because he had nothing to spend in the last, I mean, down the, down the finish line. But had he had $3 million me. Minutes later, Cagle returned to his earlier conversation with Senator Tippins. I said, Lindsey, you need to understand, I want, I mean, this bill's going to happen. I mean, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Because I had to to keep the money away from Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, was, I was playing defense. I, I'm being honest with you. Clay Tippins acknowledges that some people will see him as a sore loser. I lost an election, but the passion I have for making sure that we have transparent government, it wasn't about an election. Cagle declined our request for an on-camera interview, but sent a statement that reads in part, Clay had a lot of questions and I openly and honestly answered them all. When a school choice bill failed in 2017, I promised I'd work to get a bill passed in 2018. That's exactly what I did. The bill wasn't perfect, and I said that to Clay, but we reached a broad agreement. No side got everything it wanted. Tippins told me he hopes what people hear on the tape will make them angry. I was in the military. People died to make sure that we have a government that's responsible for people. It angers me when I see evidence of this thing. It angers me of the brazen nature of this thing. I hope they're furious. I was. That's why I did this. The Walton Family Foundation declined to comment on the recording, but it said it has put no money into the Georgia governor's race this year. Even if this foundation or another had put millions into the race, that money wouldn't have been known to the public. It would have had to go to something called a, a, a super PAC, and uh, those are not open for public inspection.